peace everyone <clears throat> how is everyone feeling how are we living how's it going let me know talk to me talk to me because i love to know i am will and i got to a point where i was pretty much i was forced to sit down to reflect to meditate to spend time alone to rest so that's where I'm at right now. In this time, I had, I became aware of something I wanted to share and talk about. So I'm sure we've all heard the phrase, I hope this water isn't too loud. I think I'm gonna turn it off because I don't want it to mess with the quality of the audio. <clears throat> okay. I think we've all heard the phrase um I think we've all heard the phrase <laughs> that wealth true wealth is not material. I know I've heard in in different forms. I know I've heard that many times. And I always understood it. I never disagreed with that sentiment, but I came to understand it in a new way. And that's what I wanted to talk about today. So the title of this video, I believe is going to be true wealth is not material. So let's talk about it. What does that mean? Well, what happened, the realization I came to was I did my taxes. And it didn't hit me at first, but I did my taxes, <clears throat> sent in my return, and, or sent, you, you know what I mean. I don't know if that's the right verbiage, but I did my taxes. <laughs> <coughs> um, I'm still coming up, I'm getting over a cold still. Same cold I've been fighting, but I think I'm on the tail end of it. So I did my taxes and I didn't think that much of it at first. And then a few days later, or maybe a week later, I was really sitting thinking about the number, like the amount, the dollar amount of money that I made in 2023. And I had the thought of like, I'm poor. <laughs> Like I didn't make barely any money in 2023. Like obviously I made enough to survive and support myself, but like I I when I think about how much money that is, like in the grand scheme of things, like I'm poor. In from an economic standpoint. And when I had that realization, that's when it really hit me like wealth is not material. Because I can honestly say 2023, I cultivated and created so much joy and happiness and contentment. And I built and I, I built great relationships. Like I further developed relationships that were already in my life. I forgave people. I made amends with people. I let go of things. <clears throat> I changed, I grew, and I learned to love life in so many new ways in 2023. But then when I look at my tax return, it's like, you would think I was barely getting by, barely having enough to survive. But at the same time, I feel like I'm living a very full life. Like, there's nothing that I've wanted to do that I haven't been able to do. Like I said, I have great relationships. I have great people in my life. I have a great relationship with myself. I'm able to take care of myself. I'm able to provide. I shouldn't even say it's me, but everything that I need is provided for me. I haven't gone a day without having something to eat. I haven't gone a day without having a place to sleep. I have a car. You know, I have everything that I need and, and then some. 
And so it really hit me that wealth is not at all material. Like not even a little bit. And the crazy thing is I never for a second in that whole year thought about like, oh, I'm not making enough money. Like as long as my stuff was taken care of, that didn't mean anything to me. And I remember like an interaction I had with one person where he he was like, you're not, you're like, you don't make any money. And <laughs> not, in, not in a way to try to offend me, but it was someone who was trying to help me. And he was just like, but you don't make any money. Like, let me help you. And I remember thinking like, so what? <laughs> I don't need your money. Like, just because I don't make any money doesn't mean that I'm unhappy. Like, I still did everything that I wanted and needed to do. I still took care of business. Everywhere I wanted to go, I went. Anything that I wanted to experience, I experienced. With no money. <laughs> With little money. And somehow managed to also save some money too. Like, I don't, life is really, when you sit, really sit back and think of, no, but it's so interesting to me. It's like I haven't wanted for anything, but when I look at my tax return, it's like, damn, that's it. Like, that's all I did. That's all that I made in that whole year, 12 months, and that was all I had to show for. That feels kind of crazy to me. And I didn't have any, I didn't really make any money outside of a job either. Like in past years, I've had little side hustles and side businesses. 2023, I didn't do that at all. Like the only money I really made was from jobs. So that money right there is pretty much, that was my whole income. <clears throat> and yet, I'm still, you know, I'm, I'm still thriving. And right now, it's like 2024 could very well turn out to be a similar outcome. Maybe I'll make a little bit more since... Because last year I started off the year unemployed. This year I started off the year with a job. So maybe I'll make a little bit more. But it's just like it doesn't even. There's just a peace in knowing that I'm still going to live my best regardless. I'm still going to be able to do everything I want to do regardless. Because truthfully, truthfully, if there is a will, there is a way. Like, I'm willing to put myself in a situation to just say, hey, I want to do this, so I'm going to go for it. I'm going to put what I have right now towards this because it's something I'm passionate about. It's something that's meaningful to me. And the rest, it's, it'll work itself out. Like, really, the rest will work itself out. But I guess I just want to say this as you know as a motivation and a reminder that if you find <clears throat> the the feeling of peace the feeling of having loving friendships the feeling of loving your family um and loving yourself and loving your life and talking to trees and being outside and having a relationship with the earth and plants um putting nutritious food into your body that's true wealth like way beyond anything that you can have materially if right now where you're at in life you can do those things you will know true wealth. If you can even just do a little bit of those things, you'll become more wealthy. And like, we've really been, oh, not to go down this path, but I'm just real quick, cause we've really been conditioned to think that if we don't have 
the house, the car, the job, the relationship. And I've been single. I've never been, mind you, because this is important too. I've never been this, like, <clears throat> genuinely single either. This is the this is the year in my life where I've had the least uh luck or involvement with romantic partners. So that's that's another thing where it's like wow and I'm still loving life and I'm still enjoying myself. Um man you don't, we, 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 we don't need the things that we think we might think we need half the time. <clears throat> you just need to enjoy whatever it is that you're doing. And if you're not enjoying what you're doing, go find something else because it's not by force. Nobody's holding a gun to your head and telling you, you got to stay at that job. Nobody is 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 holding you holding you down by your arms and telling you that you got to stay living in that place that you don't like. Nobody is holding a a hand around your neck and telling you that you got to stay in that relationship that's bringing you down. I wasn't trying to really turn this into me preaching, but I just feel like make the most of what you have. Even if it's not much, get creative. Make the most of what you have. Start seeing everything as being abundant. Everything that you have, when you wake up, if all you... Let me tell you, if all you had when you woke up was a pillow and a blanket and a pen and a notepad, if, that, if those were your only possessions when you woke up, give thanks for those four things. And then give thanks to the sun and the moon and the stars and the earth and the creator. And watch how your life is going to change. Just be grateful and then you will know true wealth. Just give thanks for everything that you have. Give thanks for everyone that you love and, and let them know how much you love them. Remind them, make them feel it. And then you will know wealth. Like that's how you will know true wealth. I don't care if you made $10,000 last year. Let me actually, let me not be dramatic because I don't, look, <laughs> I don't know people's circumstances because you could have had a really bad year. You could have been homeless. You could have been struggling and going through a lot of things. So let me not say like, let me not say it like it's just that easy because I know some people are in really difficult situations. But I'm more speaking to the people where you have a roof over your head. You have the, the means to take care of yourself. You have people around you that care about you. Start giving thanks. Start giving thanks. I don't care if you don't have everything that you want right now. It'll come. Just start being more grateful. Just start giving thanks. Literally, when you wake up every day, you need to give thanks every day. <laughs> when you wake up and before you go to sleep. And that's how you know wealth because that that's what will make you realize how abundant your life is. I feel so like saying this feels I'm almost cringing because it's like, oh, are you serious right now? But like, it's true. Like, it sounds very corny and cliche when I'm saying it, but it's very true. Like, this is what I do every day when I wake up. I just give thanks for, for, for everything that I have. 
and all the people that are in my life and just like the most basic things. But every time I do that, I start smiling. Like I genuinely, I start smiling. Even if I'm down, like I start smiling and I start feeling joy and happiness and a sense of peace knowing like, wow, <clears throat> I really have so much. So, yeah, I just wanted to come on here and just say that, like, and like, look at how beautiful this shirt is, but I got it for $5 at five below. Like, just be, it, it has butterflies on it. Like, what a beautiful symbol of change and transformation and, and life and, <laughs> and creation. <laughs> Um, like just make the best of what you got because like making money just doesn't matter that much. It only matters to an extent. It only matters to an extent. When you start being grateful for what you have, like magic really starts working around you. It really does. Like I know I, I sound like I'm bullshitting, but I'm not. <laughs> I'm really not. Oh, so anyways, uh, thank you for watching. If you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for tuning into my channel. Thank you for hearing me. Look, here I go giving, giving thanks and look at me smiling. Like this is literally how it works. Thank you for being you. Thank you for allowing me to be me. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> so I, I, I pray and I hope that everyone moves forward in peace. Move forward in abundance and in gratitude. Keep gratitude. Keep that attitude of look at how much I have. Even if you feel like you don't have anything. And I'm going to just leave it at that. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs>